everyone hey welcome to February and welcome to the Psy Earth Prediction series connecting with collective consciousness and the use of these cards which were derived by Carl Jung's psychology and understanding of collective conscious energies so let's see what February has in store for the global perspective and dynamic just another shuffle or two Okay, February, the beast, the stars, the sage, the warrior, the puzzle, and the libido. Well, when the puzzle comes out, it's only ever come out, I believe, three times in three years. And we'll get to it, I guess, as we work through the reading, but it is a misnomer. We don't know what it means, literally. It is a puzzle. So I don't like the beast and I don't like the warrior or the libido. Those ones worry me a little bit. Um, let's start with the beast. So we often think of a political leader who is acting in a beast-type manner. Now, often associated traditionally, when I've done these readings, with the likes of the communist parties. So that's potentially Putin, um, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. We have, um, you know, a few of the others, some Chinese energies coming through, possibly even the likes of Cuba. Who knows? There's those potential energies for some of those countries to be activated or um, spurred on to something. They'll be in the news, they could be a bit volatile. North Korea might be jousting itself around and using political rhetoric the way it does. It can, of course, now, now that we have Trump in power, there are some people who believe he is as uh, idiosyncratic or centric as the likes of Putin and some of the other communist leaders, that he's a bit of a fascist leader. So we don't know now whether the beast entails his energy or not. You know, we have a complete segregation going on with the Trump issue. Some people really back his stuff and others don't. So there's that conjecture going on. Now the other thing that the beast often talks about, because he's underground there, he's in tunnels, it talks about tunnels and underground issues. So hidden agenda, stuff that's been hidden that could come out. Also um, trapped underground, so being stuck in something or under things that have collapsed. As well, it can mean volcanic activity. So the eruption of big volcanoes um, and new volcanoes and eruptive and fiery explosive displays of action from them. Sometimes this can come about through uh, solar interaction with our planet from the sun, which can be from large bursts of energy or um, coronal mass ejections or coronal holes that are facing us that uh, activate our activity because we're all tied together. We all work as part of a bigger um, entity, if you like. We come to the next uh, card and it's the stars. Now often the stars will literally say to you there are things occurring that no one can change because it is written in the stars. You know it's kind of like a prophecy thing and the puzzle reiterates that to a degree. There's something going on that none of us can change. It's like it was going to happen. So there's two dynamics in this reading that are telling us that something very big that no one has any power over is in the process of occurring. The other thing about the stars, it points to things such as technological advancement or issues in our skies that we watch. So the possibility of finding things like new planets or asteroids or meteorites. It can be information about planets that we didn't understand previously and we are learning about them. It can be things in space that we suddenly find or see or traverse across our skies, such as comets. 
February is the month of the beginning of the eclipses and we do have a big uh, energy when eclipses are around they can be quite um, you know strong and there can be a lot of emotional stuff going on around this time it definitely hints itself at such things as planetary alignments which is what I have just talked about with the various with the eclipse and such like the card right next to it is the sage card that also has this literally the same message in my mind he is writing something in a book and it's a very mathematical looking calculation which often aligns me back to almost the same drawing as this so he is thinking about space, technology, communications, satellites, uh, the understanding of our world around us and the connection to all that is, learning new information about our space or our planets around us, finding out about new planets, again asteroids, comets, meteorites, I think we might be in for some more of those in the month of February. Um, he also can relate to stately figures around the globe such as the Pope or high powered figures along those lines sometimes religiously um, inclined uh, we come to the next card the warrior and he is dressed in very old well, I call it costume but it wouldn't have been at the time it was war warrior clothing from the middle ages almost and so we often think of him as being through the older parts of the globe or where the older parts where people lived so going back through Europe in particular and areas like the Middle East now there can be warrior type energy in those areas so the mentality of warrior energy or there can be fiery activity one way or another now behind the warrior is a whole bunch of smoke or steam or something rising up and there is a river going across a bridge. So this card often suggests to me that there can be sudden devastating weather, inclement weather situations through parts of that part of the globe as well. In particular flooding and, the, and damaging all the beautiful old buildings and so... Um, there can be loss of historical buildings and townships and things like that when that warrior card comes out. Either through the act of terrorism or bombing or physical fighting or through natural um, loss such as weather or earthquake related losses. So we come to the puzzle and it's even odd that it faces upright so it's red from facing this way but the puzzle itself should be viewed that way so the whole card is an enigma there seems to be no real answer to this I need people's input on it I need suggestions and help the one thing that I see on the bottom of it is what appears to be almost like a maple leaf and so I have sometimes wondered about Canada when this comes out and the trees in the background but I have no real um, assurity about that point we do see a royal figure there it looks as though she might be a queen she has a crown on she's holding the keys to those doors so there could be something about uh, royalty or um, monarchy or holding keys to doors or letting people through them or locking them out so it could be things along those lines as well. We come to the last card at the bottom, the libido. The libido talks about mass compassion events. And these can be good events, you know, like happy celebratory events. And they can be fun and people are really enjoying themselves. Um, often when you have things like the Olympic Games or the Commonwealth Games, this card can pop out. But I'm not sure globally... Um, what's around for February other than perhaps the Chinese New Year so this could be part of the Chinese New Year celebrations and it is the year of the rooster and although he's not a rooster the peacock's showing us his amazing 
glamour and glitz just the way roosters sometimes do as well so there can be that energy involved in the libido card the other thing that it specifically talks about are animals so possibly large mass animal die-offs and as well we see here um, this water in the background aligning itself a little bit similarly to this there's definitely going to be some very big flood issues also mud slides and um, avalanches things like that I know in January they had a terrible avalanche in Italy but we may see more of that type of thing as well so weather patterns extreme weather patterns sudden downpours with surges of massive flooding um, creating damage is what the libido card talks about now when I say mass compassion events it also often brings up something that the whole globe gets connected to at the heart chakra level and feels sorrow about so and it tends to go viral and it gets activates everyone on the globe now oftentimes this can be mass shootings and sometimes this is up in and around the American area so there may be unfortunate circumstances along those lines it can also be other terrorist related activities that affect everyone at a very deep level so I think February's reading is intense and there is a degree of instability within the cards and there is a huge degree of unknown uncertainty so we'll play the month out and see what comes up remember too of course February on February the 14th is the global day of love so we do have the connection of love and again happiness and um, that whole look into the more positive realm and that can come out with the libido card so there we are guys that's your reading for February take notes and any ideas and input I really love to hear everything so thank you all for joining me again and I wish you all a very happy and safe prosperous February for 2017 take care everyone much love namaste